What's up, everybody? It's I, your lovely host, Bokusatsu, and uh, I am here. I'm here today to review. Well, yeah, sorry, I'm sick right now, so please forgive me. I'm here to review the SA Figure Arts uh, Gohan Beast from the Dragon Ball Super he Superhero movie. You know, the, the new form came out last year that said that Gohan now the strongest character in the franchise with this form. I don't see it. I got a hot take say. I did not like this form. I love the figure. I don't like this form because I find I find Gohan be so stupid. But that's just my opinion. So how is he? Is he good? Is he bad? Is he all perfect? He's not perfect, no, but he is a good figure. I'm gonna talk about this well today. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get lights to work. So how how great is for articulation? Well this is how far he goes. You gotta be very gentle for how you do it. Cause it looks like this, so look like these parts aren't articulated like the like the other version, like the other superhero Gohan figure. The rubber. This is how far. <laughs> great. Freaking great. Yeah, one of the issues with this figure is that uh, he does not want to hold his own face. This is how far his articulation goes from here to here. And like this as well. Oh yeah, by the way, if you hear all those crap, if you hear all those, if you hear all that, yeah, that, yeah, that how, yeah, that's how much the figure is like though. If you hear like all the squeaky, yeah, that's how, that's how the figure was when I first bought him. Well, last week I book off, but still. This is this is this is how far he go. He doesn't have the exact he okay, where is it? Hey, right, let me, let me, let me, this is his this is the this is the regular Gohan, okay? You can move him back and forth. I hated that I hated that uh, beast doesn't have that. You can't move him back or forth with that and that that's really annoying. You can pose him well, yes. That's no lie, you can. You could pose him. <sighs> yes, and uh, that's. And nothing else. You could pose him pretty well, it's just. He doesn't have ab crunch. I can't, and you can't move his torso that much. This is one of the beyond weakest things about this figure. I really like this guy because he's part, because he's now part of my top 10 figures of the year with Aguilera, Tycoon, Double Stream, Shadow Moon. Uh, how? With this freaking, uh, Black Sea figure right here. Uh, just wait, cause I got a lot to say. I got a lot of things to say about him in his own video. But anyway, yeah, uh, this, you, this Gohan, he's good, except that, it sucks that he doesn't have an app crunch. Oh, oh yeah, this, this happened to my copy, but, uh, for those that have this, for those that use the, the special being can effect, be careful, because this piece right here, for this joint, this peg, popped up, like, Three or four times on me every time I every time I took off the special bean can in hand and put back his regular fist to hand. So
Be careful of that, everybody, because you really don't want that to happen to you. Anyway, uh, this, 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 this figure is so weird. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, ow. <laughs> How good are his accessories? Well, his accessories, they're good. But oh boy, this gets, oh boy, Tamashi, what the heck were you guys doing when making this figure? Because it sounds like you guys weren't. It sounds like you guys were playing well with a lot of uh, features, a lot of things about how to make him. It just didn't work out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this. This figure is Premier Bandai too, so just want to make that just want to make that clear. And no, I did not pre-order mine. I bought mine from Book Off last week from in San Diego. So yeah. All right, so here's the special we can effect. Now you want to be careful with this effect because this effect here can, t for me, right? Well, using this effect on uh, Gohan here, his peg pop, his peg popped off. And uh, that's one of my issues with this figure, though. This special we. What the fuck is it? Oh, great. Of course it's missing. That's wonderful. You see, there was a stand for the special mechanic fact, but it looked like it looked like I misplaced it. That's fucking great. Okay. It, oh, fuck, fuck it. Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to curse. I'm trying not to curse, but great. Anyway, this effect right here, I see what they're trying to do with it, it felt unnecessary because this this effect is way too heavy for his figure, in my opinion. And uh, well, try to take a picture with it. It felt really annoying taking it off as well, and I did not like that not one bit. I'm just going to be uh, brutally honest about that. Here's his uh oh yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, do you know how every Vegeta figure have the cross arm hands? Yeah, yeah, they, they, gave, they, gave, they gave it to Gohan because, well, he did cross his arm one time in a couple of scenes in the movie after him and Piccolo defeated Cell Max. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Granted, it is annoying to, it is annoying to pop this bad boy off, so be careful with that. Now on to faces. I'm sorry this video a real guy. I'm just not in my I'm just well sick. So here okay. So here we have the here we have a here we have a uh, well here we have a face for base Gohan this Gohan right here and if we do this We get well. We get that we we get this one face scope of Gohan's Gohan snapping when transforming to well into this. I gotta be honest. I find it pretty annoying that the superhero line for fig as a figure, in my opinion, probably the most scariest line ever. Here's why I say this. Every figure that comes with an accessory for Gohan, Premier Bandai. 
Oh, what's this? You want Gohan's cape and alternate heads? Oh, and alternate head, head scope for him with the glasses. Too bad, you gotta go buy the gammas for that. Oh, what's this? You, what's this? You want? You, you want? You want like another face for Gohan? Too bad, you gotta go buy P Pan and Broly for that. Bandai, Tamashi, hear me out. That's stupid and scum. Okay, you didn't do this. You didn't do this. You didn't do this bull crap. With Dragon Ball Superhero Broly. Everyone came with their accessories. All good figure. But still, you didn't do this with Broly. Why you didn't have a superhero? That was stupid in my opinion. Anyway. Here are here here's his here's his uh, screaming face ring screen special beam cannon! <laughs> Here we have his grin face. These these faces are very really well sculpted. I gotta give credit and credit to to Tomashi. And he has his smirking face. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now onto his hands. Well, okay, that sounds weird, but uh, you know what I mean. So here we have two like somewhat Goku's hands where you can make it do like make him do the Goku pose. Here we have here we have a special being cannon hand. You, you can make him pose well, make that you can make him pose while doing the special beam cannon. We have open palm hands. And we have like somewhat Kamehameha here, but not really. Just like just like open grab hands, and that's it. Now on to size comparison, because oh boy, we got oh boy, I got a lot to compare with. So since this is a superhero review, here here with superhero Goku, with superhero Gohan. And here is the superhero Vegeta. Oh, look, look, let me go, uh, this. This is so cool. I'm only missing, I never got the superhero Piccolos. Oh, I gotta go find way to get that guy. But yeah, this is, uh, this right here is really cool. I love it. Granted, my least favorite figure out of all of them is the Goku, cause my copy not the best, but but it's whatever. All right, let me go move them out of the way. Here, here we're Super Saiyan Four Vegeta. Here, here we're Super Saiyan Four Goku. And just because I here here for pick here here with the proud Namekian Piccolo, I did not have the superhero Piccolo like I said. So this is the only Piccolo I have. Oh, not the only, but you know what I mean. He he sent pretty much all of them. I'm just, granted he's almost he's almost the exact same height as a uh, Piccolo. But to be fair, they are they they are reusing a body for Beast Gohan, so yeah. I'm gonna okay, since well I have these two here as well. Let's compare them with some figures outside of let's say figures well outside the Dragon Ball line. Here yeah, with the uh, Black series Luke Skywalker, which well I will get around to a review really soon. And here he is with the uh, SA figure Senkoku Seho, Cyclone Joker, Double Extreme. All right, he stand pretty well with both of them. So what are my thoughts overall? <laughs> overall. 
overall, if you love Gohan, I'll say get this guy. But at the same time, if you don't, if if you don't feel like you need this guy, just go buy the custom head off of Five K Toys or Amini 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 Store. I think it's called. Just go buy the custom head somewhere else. Cause there's a custom head for Beast Gohan, and you can just you can just add that head to this body, and uh, yeah, that saves you a lot of money. But overall, it's good. He's in my top ten. I just wish that uh, he had ab crunch and more articulation, cause he's limited, and <laughs> it feel like it feel like there's like a lot of missed potential they could have. They could have done with him, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And uh, yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's going to be a lot of new videos coming out very soon for my channel, so be prepared for that. And uh, yeah, guy. That's all I'm going to say. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Follow, follow my social media in the description. Subscribe to my channel. I'll try and hit a thousand sub and well well if well with the help of you guys liking and subscribing and pushing out not push out liking, subscribing and sharing this video to many others, we can get to that goal this year and I know we're almost there. And yeah. Yeah guys, thank you thanks for watching. Talk talk to you guys next time and enjoy the pictures. Bye.